During Devin Lerritt versus Chance Shaw at East versus West, there was a very controversial moment that had to do with the rule set. Today, we're going to analyze this moment. So the moment we're going to talk about is in round three. Chance has won one round and Devin Lerritt has won one round and Chance ended up getting his round on fouls. So the context of this is that Chance was pushing Devin off of the back of the pad and he ended up doing this in order to get his win. He didn't quite end up pinning Devin. So this is now in round three. And Chance is going to do essentially the same thing. But this time, the call is going to be a little bit different. Hristo ends up making the call this time. And you can see him pushing Devin off of the back of the pad. But this time, Chance gets an elbow foul for intentionally pushing. Hristo says that this is Chance initiating this foul. This is Chance's fault that the match stopped. And this is where all the controversy begins. Because in the first round, Chance did the exact same thing. He pushed Devin off of the back of the pad. And that was called as a foul for Devin Larritz, but now it's being called as a foul for Chance. So essentially what we're going to talk about in this video is should this be considered a foul? If you push your opponent's elbow off of the pad, should this be a foul on Devin since it does appear as though his elbow came off first before Chance's does? Or should this be a foul on Chance since he is the one pushing? Now just to be clear, I do want to say that I think East versus West called this perfectly. I think that the refs called this just fine because at the time the current rule was that this is going to be a foul on chance shaw so in no way am i saying that this was a bad call or that east versus west did something wrong they were simply following the rule set that was being used at the time and that is the correct thing to do what i'm talking about is should we make a change for a future rule set and i am going to take the position that this should be a foul on devon Larritz. Personally, I think that it is your job to keep your elbow on the table, and if your elbow comes off, it should be a foul on you. I don't think it really matters what your opponent does as long as they're keeping their elbow on the pad at the same time. Now, this would be different if Chance lifted his elbow way up into the air in order to push Devin off. Of course, this would already be a foul on Chance, so it wouldn't matter if Devin's elbow came off at all. But because it at least appears as though Chance is able to keep his elbow on the pad for long enough to shove Devin's elbow off the back. I do think that this should be called as a foul on Devin because at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to keep your elbow on the pad. Now, is this intentional from Chance? Yeah, I think it is to a certain degree, but I don't know why this should matter. I think that if we compare this to another similar situation, it's going to become clear that the responsibility is on Devin Larratt. It's not on Chance Shaw. If Chance wants to press, if he wants to use back pressure, side pressure, anything, he should be free to do so at any moment in the match as long as he keeps his own elbow down. So if we compare this to a slightly different situation, imagine that Chance was actually using back pressure or up pressure, similar to someone like Vitaly Lelettin. He was pivoting off of his elbow and driving straight up into the air. Imagine that he lifted Devin's elbow off the pad. Should this be considered a foul on Chance Shaw for intentionally lifting Devin's elbow off? I personally don't think so, and the reason for that is that it's Devin's responsibility to keep his elbow down. At the end of the day, every single possible pressure that you could apply in an arm wrestling match is going to force your opponent's elbow off the side of the table, or off the front of the table, or up into the air, and the responsibility must be on this athlete to keep his elbow down. For example, if Chance uses side pressure, that's going to push Devin's elbow off the side of the table. If he uses back lat dragging pressure, that's going to pull Devin off the front of the table. And if Chance uses a posting style pressure, it's going to lift Devin's elbow straight up into the air. But for whatever reason, we would never blame Chance in this case or this athlete for causing the other athlete to foul as long as they were top rolling or going for a pin. But for some reason, whenever the athlete is pressing, we then begin to blame this athlete for this athlete's elbow coming off the table. And personally, I just don't think that this makes any sense. As soon as you start trying to make a judgment call as to whether Chance was going for a pin or whether he was only trying to force Devin off, this is going to be completely impossible to have any degree of consistency going forward. And Devin actually ended up talking about this match versus Chance after it happened, and as far as I know, I think that Devin completely agrees with me on this point. I think he agrees that it has to be the athlete's responsibility to keep his own elbow down, and there's no consistent way to call the other athlete for pushing them off the pad or pulling them off the pad, whatever it is. So I think even Devin agrees that in this moment right here, he should have been called for a foul, 
and potentially Chance could have ended up beating him in another round by using this strategy. The reason that Devin's elbow comes off the back is not only because Chance pushes him, but it's also because Devin wants the elbow to go off the back instead of his arm sweeping to the outside and sweeping into an open top roll where he's going to be much more vulnerable to a press. So Chance pushing is not the only reason Devin's elbow came off. Devin's elbow came off because he didn't make every effort possible to keep it on the table. He wanted it to go off the back so that he could have a better leverage for going sideways and over the top of Chance. So let me know what you guys think about this, but I personally don't see why we're only going after pressers in this case. It's always the athlete's responsibility to keep his own elbow on unless he's getting pressed. And then for some reason, we change the rule and make it the responsibility of the other athlete to keep his opponent's elbow on the table. And that just seems crazy. The idea that it would be my responsibility for what happens to my opponent's elbow just seems completely unfair. But let me know what you guys think about this because I understand that there are multiple positions on this topic.